maybe you would like to escape to a different world. Yeah, well, look no further than the fantasy drama His Dark Materials. It's back for its second series, starts this weekend, uh, and two of the show's stars, Daphne Keane and Arian Bakari, will be telling us more about that next. Daphne week. plays Lyra, Arian plays Lord Boreal. They join us now. Guys, I, I think if I could describe the look, the look um, is, is magical. Would you agree? Yes, totally. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, season one, hugely successful, Daphne. Um, ended on a, on a bit of a cliffhanger. So tell us what we can look forward to in season two without, obviously, any spoilers. What's going on with Lyra? Well, we leave off. I can't probably can't say what happens in the last episode, but I can say that we leave off in a very emotional moment and we come back to Lyra in a different universe, grieving for her only family, basically. And she meets this strange boy who somehow becomes her friend and they battle their way through life. And it's much darker, it's more raw, and it's much more emotional, I'd say. Arian, what, what is the appeal? You know, not only do you, you, know, you, you star in this as an actor, but, you know, you're also a writer, you're also a director, and I talked there about the look being magical. What, what do you yeah. think the appeal is in these dark days? I, I think what it is is that you're seeing a young young girl kind of growing up in front of in front of your eyes, and basically you're following her adventure, and it's about the modern woman. So I think it's really quite exciting to watch someone's journey and the adventures they go through. And I think also when you're working on like um, on a project that Philip Pullman's, you know, is based on a Philip Pullman book, you can't really go wrong. <laughs> Yeah. No, um, um, explain to people what the demons are, because I think you, you don't necessarily have, have to have watched season one. You could probably pick up in season two. So people are going to start watching on Sunday. Just explain a little bit, Daphne, about the demons and where they come into this. Um, well, in Philip Pullman's world, uh, there is he's constructed these three different universes, basically. And in Lara's universe, which is where Lord Boreal and Lara come from, there is this thing called a demon, which is basically your soul manifested in the shape of an animal and it accompanies you everywhere. And that's basically what a demon is. And in Will's world, which is our world, there are none. And in depends on the world you're at, there are demons and there aren't. So. Yeah, so most of that is special right. effects, right. Arian. But your demon is a snake and I gather yeah. that you Yours was a real snake you had to work with. How was that? Yeah, I, did. I had to work with a real snake, which was um, quite scary when I first started. <laughs> um, it was... Yeah, it was hard. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. But then afterwards, you kind of got used to it in the end. They called me the snake tamer by the end of it. Oh. Arian, if I had a demon inside me, what, what would it be, do you think? I kind of was thinking about that. I thought you might be a panda. I think it'd like be a really kung fu panda. <laughs> Type. <laughs> I, I think I would be, do you know, a Labrador, which is slow, lazy, and likes to eat a lot. Yeah. You know, something like yeah, that. A panda, a panda, a I go, panda, what would be inside you, Ruthie? Panda would exactly the same thing. Uh, I'll yeah. be something lively. Um, Daphne, this is it's quite a family affair for you, isn't it? Because you're, both your parents are actors. Um, and they've been on set with you. So they were they part of the film, or are they just kind of you know your, like your minders? Um, my mum coaches me, and my dad is in the show. He plays one of the Magisterium bad guys. So also my cousins also in it. So it was basically like a there was about four of us from the same family on set, which is quite funny. Daphne, how do you do it? There you are. You you know you look very mature, but in years you're you're still a child. You're fifteen. Uh, years of age, you still have to do school and lessons and all that sort of thing. To be honest, if I was you, I'd just have my eye on stardom. <laughs> I wouldn't be worrying about algorithms and geography and everything, economics, whatever you're, you're studying. Um, wh how do you combine the study? Is, is it hard? Um, I mean, I think it's as hard as it is for every kid. I mean, I don't really enjoy school. I don't think anyone really does. But I, you just have to do it, you know. I just do it and then I look forward to when I'm filming. So. Are they quite so strict okay. about that? Because obviously they have tutors. Um, so, you know, when you're on set, will they, will they say, right, come on, Josie, you know, you've got to be doing your maths now? Yeah, 100%. Like, Aaron will tell you we'd be filming and then suddenly I'd do a take and they'd be like, mm, she can't do any more takes, like she has to go to school. And especially there was two kids on set, so they'd have to, like, stop filming oh. for about 
hours and then just boring, goes... How boring is that? I mean, the only, the only good thing could be if there was a, a Richard Pullman question in your English literature paper or something like that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I've used these art materials as examples for projects, which has helped me. Yeah. So, I mean, that's OK. Is today a school day? Uh, it is, but because of COVID, I'm doing it online, so yeah. I could. Well, don't, and, don't have us getting in the way now. If we'd... And Aaron, does, <laughs> does any of that resonate with you? You know, what age were you when you started acting? Did you have to do any of that kind of mixed acting with this school work? Well, when I was her age, you know, I was actually, I wasn't at school. I was at school, but I was kind of had my own struggles in life. So it was like slightly bit different. Um, I, um, I was homeless at 15. So basically, I was basically kind of trying to study on doorsteps <laughs> wow. or in a hostel. So it's slightly bit different. Um, yeah, but I kind of, I got through it and I'm here now and I'm happy. <laughs> so and you're good. a lord. You're a lord as well. <laughs> I'm a lord. On top of all that, Lord Boreal, thank you, Aaron. Thank you very much. Uh, Daphne, appreciate it uh, as well. We'll let you get back online. Uh, his Dark Materials, it's the second season. It is back. It is on BBC One Sunday at 10 past eight. Guys, thank, thank you very you much indeed.